a few weeks ago, my anxiety reached a level that it's never reached before. I had to leave a work event because I couldn't breathe. The room around me was spinning. And my hands were shaking really, really bad. It wasn't until I got to my car that I was able to calm myself down and call Anna to talk about the panic attack that I just had. I've always had anxiety for as long as I can remember, but it's always been manageable. Recently though, in the past few weeks, it's gotten to be crippling and uncontrollable and severe and overwhelming. And I wanted to talk about it because it's something that I'm dealing with on a daily basis that I'm navigating through and just figuring out. For the longest time, I took uh, pride in my ability to control situations and emotions and and if you'd asked me a few years back I probably would have told you that I didn't have anxiety. In fact, I'd probably go as far as to tell you that you have every control of your life. You are in the situation that you're in because of the decisions you've made and while I still think that's true, I would say that now I have a lot more compassion to anyone that tells me that they are suffering from anxiety. I think everyone at some level experiences anxiety. We all know that nervous feeling, that overwhelming feeling where you start playing out every scenario in your head and you start to overthink about what might happen. Whether it's work or relationships, you get jealous, overzealous. When you're down, you get real down and when you're high, you don't calm down. You know, and your thoughts just literally spiral out of control. And you probably even come to the point where you're realizing that you are just thinking about the worst that can happen. And you've been through this before and the worst never usually does happen. Things always have a way of working themselves out. But that's just the thing about anxiety is that you can know this. You can know that what you're thinking is most likely not going to happen. But the feeling is still there. Knowing that it's not gonna happen doesn't get rid of the shortness of breath and the shakiness and everything that comes with anxiety that's that's what it is and everything that's going on with your body when you're experiencing an anxiety attack even if you know you still for some reason just can't even if you know that things are going to be okay even if you you can try anything you can drill it into your head that the worst you can figure out the worst that can happen and drill it into your head that it's not going to happen. But for some reason, that doesn't calm me down. It's even possible to get anxious about good things in life, like a job interview. Or lately, for me, it's been landing clients. And from the moment we agree on a deal to the day of the event, I am an anxious mess. I just think of the worst things, like what if I get pulled over on the way to the venue? Or if I get one little piece to an equipment that I need and I won't be able to use that? which usually does happen, but things always end up working out. And I know that, but that's just a thing about anxiety. I know this, but I still feel the way that I do. I still have anxiety and I still have to keep moving forward. So I started Snail Trail Studios about two months ago and around the same time, I happened to land a new role in my current job. And I was in a spot where I had to put my best foot forward in both places and I was also going through a lot of personal issues and I think it with everything that was going on around me and uh, the things I was dealing with personally I was just rattled and uh, and shook. There were moments where my watch would tell me that my heart rate was really high even though I would just be sitting down on a work call. Uh, there would be moments where my ears would feel really really dry where my vision would blur or I would have to stop whatever it was I was doing because I couldn't breathe. I had to catch my breath. And it got to the point where I thought I might have had COVID. So I checked myself and I, and I didn't have COVID. It was, and, and the whole time it was really difficult to talk to anyone about it because I didn't want to seem crazy. I felt like I was maybe imagining things and uh, the whole time and the only thing that really got me through it and the only thing that would make me calm down was playing with my one-year-old Elijah. And so he's kind of been my anchor throughout this whole experience. And uh, right now I'm in a point where some days are better than others and it's been back to mild anxiety, but I can still feel it. I still feel that it's there. There are things that I do now that uh, have helped with it, like doing push-ups or street photography. I love just being able to escape into my own little world for a little bit, put some headphones in, 
go downtown and take pictures of people. And I'm still in this place right now where I'm just searching for the good stuff. The stuff that allows me to just escape for a little bit. Editing videos. I think what's really the most terrifying thing about all of this is that realizing that this might be something that I have to forever deal with. Even on the days that are not that bad at all, I still find myself thinking about the days ahead that are gonna be bad, that are gonna be those days where I can't catch my breath, where I have a panic attack. And so if you're dealing with this on a more extreme level, just hang in there, you know, find the good stuff. You've gotten through it before, you can get through it again. You got this. I think acknowledging it and, and accepting it is a huge step uh, towards dealing with it. And that's probably why I'm sitting in front of this camera and talking about it to you right now. Please, if you're watching, uh, I'm okay. Just know I'm okay. Just wanted to let whoever might need to hear this know that they're not alone, that a lot of people deal with this, and um, talking about it helps. Thanks for watching, guys. We have a lot of awesome, awesome stuff coming your way. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, peace.